Uh, in today's class, you will be able to identify relevant geometric models to solve design problems utilizing real world scenarios. So let me take you to the next page. In my previous session also, I mentioned the same thing that uh, geometric modeling problems will involve uh, designing an object or structure to satisfy physical constraints or minimize cost. Essential question, how can you minimize the cost of an object when creating a design of a three-dimensional object? Today, I'll take some uh, two-dimensional, some three-dimensional objects. How do you find the volume or surface area? I'll take some surface area questions in today's session. That satisfies the design of uh, geometric objects. So let me take you to the next page. In my previous session, already I explained that uh, these are the four steps that are involved to solve any problem. Step one, read, understand, and interpret the problem. Next one is uh, make a plan, make a plan. Anyhow, I'll discuss these, questions, these points while explaining a problem. Next one, implement your plan. For implementing, what formally do I need to know these things we have to? Next, uh, last one is evaluate your answer. Is it making sense? Did I mention the units? Whatever the question was asked, did I answer to the question? This is what you have to think. Let me take you to the next page with uh, the first question. This is not so easy, but once if you can understand, it's not so difficult. Uh, let me make a small change in this question that uh, only one change I'm making here instead of 12 cents, I'm making as 14 cents. Now let me read the question first. A major convention hall, sorry, convention center, whose floors are covered by square carpet tiles with side lengths of 9 inch, inches laid out in a 48 by 96 array. Held a wild conference over the weekend, a local cleaning company was hired to clean that carpet tiles. Given an offer, $0.07 per carpet square. The cleaners accepted the job, but not until after the convention center agreed to their counter of $0.14 per square foot. Please see that earlier it is mentioned that for cleaning each tile, 7 cents were offered. Now they changed that price to 14 cents per square foot. So you have to compute both. What is the area? Anyhow, I'll, I'll, I'll jump to the question in a while. The cleaners were happy because they knew that they would be getting paid more than the convention center originally offered. How much more exactly? Okay. So, let's say that uh, uh, the, carpet, uh, the carpets are to be cleaned. So, here uh, we have two scenarios. We have two scenarios. In case one, if this is the carpet, if this is the carpet, okay, and the dimensions are given that 48 by 96, let's say that this is 96 feet and this one is 48. This is 48. Let's say that 96 feet and 48 feet. Now, how many tiles are there? How many tiles are there? So each tile, please see that uh, each tile is uh, measuring uh, 9 inches. That means length is 9, width is 9. So how many such tiles are there? That's what you have to compute. How many tiles? 
let me give you an example let's say that uh, i'm drawing a rectangle whose length is uh, 4 and whose width is uh, 2 feet now if i'm taking one tile one square tile how many square tiles will fit in this one you know uh, let me mention back to this one always uh, you think of uh, a simpler question i hope uh, we discussed in the previous session you think of a simple problem with small numbers then it becomes easy for you to because i am trying to compare with this one but instead of large numbers 96 48 really it is difficult but uh, let me think of it uh, small numbers how to solve it so this tile is uh, length is one and width is one so how many tiles are required means uh, you may draw this way four is the length you may draw four blocks two is the width you may draw this way and you can count uh, one block you know two three four five six seven eight if it is small then easily you can count but uh, let's try to identify what is the logic behind that if I find the area of this big rectangle, which is 4 times 2 divided by area of small square, which is 1 times 1, 8 over 1, that is 8 tiles. Right? In fact, you can count and you can confirm that, yes, 8 tiles are to be fixed. Any questions on this, sir? Any questions? First of all, you know how to find the number of tiles. Keeping that one in view, what did I do here? Area of rectangle divided by area of one tile. That is giving me number of tiles. So let me use the same technique here number of tiles to be cleaned equals to area of uh, area of carpet area of carpet over area of one tile area of one tile that gives me number of tiles so oops let me i let me clean this. Okay. Let me. Oh, oh. Well, so how to compute? Just now we discussed that uh, uh, area, sorry, number of tiles, number of uh, tiles equals to area of carpet, area of carpet divided by area of one tile area of one tile so what is the area of carpet means length times width which is uh, 96 feet multiplied by 48 feet divided by area of one tile means you see that each tile is uh, like nine inches long and nine inches wide because square tile means length and width are the same Please notice that uh, the carpet is in feet and the tile is in inches. Therefore, we have to convert feet into inches. I hope you know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So 96 times 12 inches times 48 times 12 divided by the denominator is 9 times 9. Now, let me make use of my calculator, then I get the number of tiles required, which is uh, uh, 96 times 12 times 48 times 12 divided by 9 times 9. So that is 81. Okay. So I see that uh, 
8192 tiles are there so the convention center initially they agreed to pay that point zero seven dollars i say that seven cents per carpet square so each carpet each square i mean each carpet square seven cents suppose if you are cleaning one tile you will be paid seven cents two tiles 14 cents three tiles you know 21 cents four tiles 28 cents and so on how did you get this one means one tile seven cents two tiles two times seven that gives you 14 three tiles three times seven four tiles four times seven and so on so here if i have 8192 tiles this is to be multiplied by 0.07 cents i mean dollars 0.07 dollars are seven cents so let me take my calculator uh, 81 sorry 8192 tiles times 7 cents that is giving me 573 dollars 573.44 point four four dollars are 573 dollars 44 cents this is what originally the convention center planned to give to the cleaning company but later on they thought of paying them more so the second part of the question is then they decide to pay more that is 14 cents per square foot please notice that the units are not same earlier they promised that they'll pay per square tile now they're paying uh, they're willing to pay per square foot so once again let me compute what is the area of this carpet in square feet okay length is 96 feet and width is 48 feet 48 feet therefore what is the area means now this time it is easy we need not convert anything into uh, inches unlike the previous case so area is a length times width length times width which is uh, 96 times 48 this many square feet because length and width and square you know, i mean feet so 96 times 48 that's giving me 4608 square feet now the company already you have seen that i mean the convention center is willing to pay 14 cents per square foot so one square foot the convention center will be paying 0.14 dollars as maybe 14 cents and just now we got that 4608 square feet square feet how much amount is to be paid at this point i would like to give one simple example Let's say that the cost of one avocado, one avocado, uh, I know it's not so expensive, but just let, let's assume that uh, $2, it cannot be that expensive. Then what is the cost of uh, four avocados? Four avocados. So immediately you say that, uh, oh, it is simple. 4 times 2 that gives me 8 as the answer okay now here also i have been given that one square foot is 14 cents and 4608 square feet how much means it is similar to our avocado example so what we have to do is we have to multiply these two so let me multiply 4608 with 14 cents then i I got 645.12 then the result is 645.12 that is $645.12 the question is how much more did they get the cleaning company did they get more money yes 
obviously they got more money and how much more means the difference of these two gives us how much more they made it so initially they thought of 573 dollars 44 cents but they paid 645 dollars 12 cents then it is uh, let me subtract then what's the answer means uh, 71 dollars so the difference of these two you know i subtracted i subtracted so when you take away when you take away then what do you get means uh, 71 dollars 68 cents they got more money than they were told okay actually real world uh, scenarios uh, uh, maybe if you become as a business person, if you are uh, maintaining a cleaning company and if you go to an organization to clean the tiles, blah, 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 then what are the amount they offer under these kind of calculations? Yes, you have to do it in the real world situations. Okay. Now, questions, please. Okay, so let me take you to the next one. My apologies, the same question. And next, uh, as shown in the diagram below, a landscaper uses a cylindrical lawn roller on a lawn. The roller has uh, a radius of 9 inches and width uh, of 42 inches. To the nearest square inch, find the area of the roller covers in the complete rotation. Actually, yesterday I said that uh, a tire is rolling, just we assumed that the tire is really thin, blah, blah, blah. So, if a tire, which is in the shape of a circle and that one rolls, so what did you compute means? You computed that uh, the circumference of a circle. But uh, this time, here, uh, a roller, so roller means which is in the shape of a cylinder, right? So, when this one is... Uh, rolling in the garden what comes in touch means that this part comes in touch with the ground this part comes in touch with the ground therefore uh, if this is the cylinder then you have to compute what is the what is this one i mean what is the area of this one right this is called a surface area it is uh, easy um, what you have to do is uh, this part you have to compute, right? Surface area formula is 2 pi r h. Only surface area. 2 pi r h. This is also called as a, a lateral surface area or curved surface area. So, uh, let me write that uh, lateral surface area of a cylinder, lateral surface area of a cylinder, it is a uh, 2 pi rh that means 2 times pi times radius times height how i got this formula means uh, you know that circumference is 2 pi r circumference of a circle multiplied by height that's it so uh, let me plug in these values here 2 times pi is 3.14 what is the radius means? Uh, thank God, most of the time diameter is given and uh, they confuse us, but here radius is given. So let me take that radius is 9 inches and height. Oh my God, height is not given, but width is given. How, how to find the width? Actually, you know, if you take this roller, this is the width. Please look at the diagram. Please look at the diagram. This is the width, right? But if you make the cylinder to stand this way, the width becomes as height of the roller, right? You know, width of the roller or the height, it's one and same, right? Therefore, in the place of height, I'm taking 42 inches. Now, let me grab my calculator and compute uh, 2 times 3.14 times 9 times 42 inches so that is equal to uh, I got 
2373.84 anyhow this is area therefore square inches actually you are done with this sum okay but uh, imagine in a real world situation the roller do you roll just only for one rotation and stop the answer is no you may be asked just assume that you are rolling the roller maybe 12 times 14 times 15 times and so on let's say that uh, if it rotates uh, maybe 14 if you are uh, the roller makes 14 rotations uh, how much area is covered let's say that this is the question i have given an example that the cost of uh, one avocado is say that two dollars it cannot be this much this expensive just i'm giving an example what is the cost of uh, five avocados immediately the answer comes to your mind that uh, it is ten dollars one avocado two one avocado two then four then six then eight then ten dollars right so how did you get means uh, this is easy to count oh ten dollars how did you get means uh, you take times right five times two that gives you ten in the same way one rotation the lateral surface area which we computed is uh, one rotation that is uh, this much area is covered in 14 rotations let's say that uh, you are asked that in 14 rotations uh, what distance is covered means uh, it is same as our avocado example so what to do is we have to multiply these we have to multiply these so let me take my calculator uh, 14 times 2373.84 that is giving me 33,000 oops so what distance means we have to multiply 14 times 2373.84 so just I'm giving an example so 33,000 233.76 square inches so this much distance or this much area will be covered in 14 rotations okay so in this topic i mean in this particular question i have given you a new formula which is a uh, 2 times pi times radius times height that is the lateral surface area lateral surface area please remember it is 2 pi r which is the circumference of a circle multiplied by height okay questions okay let me go to the next one actually earlier I discussed with you that how the plan or the procedure the step one two three four now here I'm going to implement a paint can is in the shape of a right circular cylinder a paint can is in the shape of a right circular cylinder the volume of the paint can is 600 pi cubic inches and its altitude you know altitude is nothing but height is 12 inches find the radius and also find the total surface area just I, I skipped some part of that so here the step one says that read the question yes we read the question okay understand and interpret the problem what information is presented what the problem is asking you can see that you are asked to find the total surface area 
Next, uh, make a plan. The first one is in make a plan. The first one is draw a picture. You know, that's very important. So let me draw a picture that there is a cylinder. These days I'm not able to draw the straight lines. <laughs> okay, so I'm drawing a cylinder. Okay. So draw a picture, I'm done. Now let me plug in these values. Let me label the parts. A paint can is in the shape of a right circular cylinder. The volume is given as 600 pi. So volume, my bad. So let me write that uh, volume is given that uh, 600 pi cubic inches. Altitude is 12. Please remember altitude is nothing but uh, the height. Height is given as 12. Okay, first of all, what is the volume of a cylinder? You know that that is pi times R square times H. Remember, height or altitude, they, these two are one and same. So in the place of R, let me write the formula pi R square H equals to 600 pi. Pi times radius, I don't know. What is the height means 12 equals to 600 pi you know if i want to isolate this one first i have to think of cancelling pi so pi is multiplying so the inverse operation is pi uh, the division of pi on both these sides so what happens is these two gets cancelled the next step is uh, uh, R square times 12 equals to 600. How will you eliminate 12 means? That is a division by 12 on both these sides. Therefore, 12 and 12 gets cancelled. R square equals to. Uh, you can make use of calculator. That is uh, 50. You know how to eliminate square. If you want to eliminate square, the other side you should get square. Root. So the value of R, which is the radius equals to square root of 50. At this point, I'm taking my calculator, the value of uh, square root 50 is 7.07. Uh, .07. So it is 7.07. .07. After decimal, just uh, two digits are fine. So this is the radius uh, in inches, 7.07 .07 inches. Then, I'm done with this. The next question is, uh, so I found the radius, find the radius, it is done in inches. The base of the paint can, yes, the radius of the base of the paint can is found as 7.07 .07 inches. Express the answer in the simplest radical form. Uh, let me uh, remove this part because I expressed in decimals. Find to the nearest tenth of a square is the total surface area. Here, what is total surface area means? Suppose assume that this cylinder is to be painted. So, which part do you paint? Whatever the area you paint, that is called as total surface area. So, first of all, I see that uh, there is a circle at the top, and uh, you will see that uh, another circle at the bottom. So area of two circles you have to find again i am repeating total surface area of a cylinder means so we have to just assume that you are going to paint this tin this cylinder so which which uh, where do you paint means we paint this part so it is a circle area of a circle plus area of another circle so two circles i have to uh, find the area so Total surface area, let me write as TSA equals to area of circle plus area of circle means that is area of two circles. So two times pi r square, that gives me area of two circles. This one and also 
I have to find the curved surface area in the previous question. Please, if you want, you can revisit and check that. Uh, I use the 2 pi. Please, please, please see that uh, curved surface area, lateral surface area is uh, 2 pi rh. Okay. That one also I have to compute. I repeat total surface area means area of two circles and this curved surface area. When you add these two, then you'll get the total surface area. Now, let me plug in these values two times. Pi value is just now we got here. Oh, sorry, not pi value. Pi value is 3.14 and the radius value we got as 7.07. .07. It is radius square followed by plus 2 pi rh. Two times pi value times radius just now I got a 7.07 .07 times height what is the value of the height means you know the height of the cylinder is given as 12 okay so uh, actually if there are two parts you may compute these two parts separately but I strongly recommend you to use parenthesis so that you will never make a mistake that is one or else there are chances of making mistake especially while using the calculator i suggest you to use either parenthesis or else compute them separately and then add them that will be better so it is two times 3.14 times 7.07 .07 square okay that is uh, 313.90. Let me take, uh, let me round it uh, uh, to 314. 314. 313.90. You can take either. 313.9. This one plus uh, this part, let me compute on calculator. 2 times 3.14 times 7.07 times 12 that is giving me 532.79 532.79 this is to be added to 313.9 that gives you total area the total area is 846.69 after decimal two digits are sufficient this many square inches yeah that's the total surface area okay uh, due to lack of time i'm quickly jumping to the next question in fact uh, this i explained in my previous session that uh, uh, a cube has a surface area so if you are taking a cube actually surface area means so we are not computing the volume surface area Cube means, uh, you see, it's a square, it's a square, it's a square, 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 square. So let me start counting how many squares are there. First of all, area of a square is side times side, you know. So it is side square, side square. Please start counting how many side squares. Side square, right? And side square. So just if you count this way, one, two, three, and back four so four squares and here is the fifth square and here is the sixth square right therefore again i'm repeating one at the top second one front third one bottom fourth one is behind so four squares and here one square and here another square so six squares are there therefore what is uh, the area of uh, the surface area means there are six squares that is the reason we take that uh, surface area equals to surface area equals to six times side square now let me plug in this 256 here because uh, surface area is given as 256 Therefore, 256 equals to 6 times side square. You know how to isolate the variable 
So let me go for the inverse operation. That is, uh, I see that six times the inverse is the division. So six fours, 24, uh, then 16. My man, just a minute. Let me come. Yeah, that is uh, 42.66. Uh, most of the time, you may not end up with kind of uh, decimals, but at times. Uh, next, you know how to eliminate square. When you eliminate that, you get a square root on the other side. So square root of uh, 42.66 equals to side. So let me grab my calculator. What is the uh, square root of uh, 42.66? 6 6.53. So the value of side equals to 6.53 feet. The question is find the volume. So you know that the volume of a cube is uh, side times side times side. You know that. So just let me plug in this value 6.53 multiplied by 6.53 multiplied by 6.53. So let me make use of my calculator 6.53 cube 278.478.445077. But as I mentioned before, we take only two digits after this one. So this is a cubic feet, 278.44. So let's quickly jump to the next question. Yeah. A rectangular garden is going to be planted in a person's rectangular backyard. Look at the confusing terminology. There is a a rectangular uh, yard, there is a rectangular yard and a person is going to, he is planning to put a rectangular garden here. Do you see that? A rectangular garden. Well, the question is find the area of the garden. Come on, area of rectangle, I know that. I know that that is a length times width. Well, so I see that uh, width is 6 feet and do I know what is the length of this rectangle? Mm, no. Then how to figure out the length of the rectangle? Okay, let's focus on the main question. I see that this is 80 feet, the total length and I see that this is 70 feet. So what is missing means uh, you can you can guess this is 10 10 feet right on the other side i see that uh, this is uh, the vertical line is given as 40 feet which is uh, the width and here i see that 15 so the difference of these two that is giving me 25 friends at this point if you, I see that there is a right triangle. So if you use a, a Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem, then you know here one side, base and height, you can find the hypotenuse. Right? That makes sense. So by Pythagoras theorem, theorem, you know we are the, bringing too many things into this particular standard. It is a side square plus side square equals to hypotenuse square. So let me plug in these values. One side is 10. The other side is 25. Therefore, 10 square plus 25 square is hypotenuse square. 10 square is 100, 25 square is 625. Let me add them, I get 725. That is the value of the hypotenuse square. You know, 
if you eliminate square the other side you should get squared out therefore the value of hypotenuse is square root of 725 let me take my calculator square root of uh, 725 is giving me 26.92582404 so you take after decimal only two so 26.92 so hypotenuse is uh, is 26.92 these many feet so friends the hypotenuse is the please notice that this is the hypotenuse that is the length of the rectangle right so what is the area of the garden it is which is in the shape of a rectangle it is a length times width so what is length means uh, just now we got it here which is uh, 26.92 with is 6 feet so let me multiply times 6 uh, let me multiply 26.92 multiplied by 6 yes it is it is 17 my bad I think I forgot to punch properly 26.92 multiplied by 6 161.52 161.52 square feet that is the area of the garden okay so any questions on this sir Okay. Let me take you to 